Hi, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight, and I am here with the next step of our T51D Mustang build. We are going to work today on the hydraulic pump assembly, which works for the retractable gear on the Mustang. So obviously Mustangs are retractable gear aircraft. We have to have a way of lifting that gear, and the Titan design uses hydraulics for that. So the way that the standard installation is with the kit is to mount the pump assembly, as you can see here, on a brass that's right in front of the battery box. Now, a couple builders have been doing some different things about locating it, and we've been encouraged actually to look for ways by the factory to put weight as far back as possible because that helps the CG of the aircraft. So Titan's been very open about saying it's okay if you can relocate things, and this is a very heavy component. Now, since we are going to be putting an access panel here on the side uh, later, it does make it easy if we could locate it further back, and that's where uh, a number of other builders have been putting it. So I tried to figure out what's the best way for us to do that, and one of the things that we came up with is uh, to create a shelf that actually is in this uh, rear area that's just in front of the tailwheel. Now one of the nice things about that is by putting the pump back there, and I'll show you that, this is the pump assembly. So uh, it has the motor on top and then it is integral with this reservoir that actually holds uh, the hydraulic fluid. On the front of it, we have these three openings, which are for the uh, return as well as the pump and uh, allows everything to, to uh, handle both emergency gear extension and uh, return of the fluid. So what we're gonna do is, um, uh, if, you, if we're able to locate it back here, that's a lot more weight that goes to the tail. And one of the things it does is that the cylinder for our tail extension is actually right next to it. And so that means that we can put T's right here near the pump that allow our uh, flex hoses to go straight to the cylinder. So it actually simplifies things a lot because we don't have to run lines back to this area again in the uh, future to run this. Um, we can actually just immediately run the tail wheel uh, cylinder and then run the lines forward for our main gear. So I think it's gonna work out really well. And as I was looking at how to do it, I came up with this uh, idea of using some of the same square tubing. Okay, so this is the steel 4130 chromoly tubing that is uh, made with the frame. And then uh, by using this, we can put uh, ends on it and just create one more structural member here. Now, we're not gonna weld to the actual frame, but uh, by using these little uh, clips that, that we've got that kind of go over it, here's one uh, on this piece, um, we can actually go and just make a bracket that just goes into place there and then use regular aluminum and the same kind of construction that we've been using so far to create that shelf. Once the shelf is in place, it's really easy to mount the pump, and then uh, we can use it for other things as well. The other benefit of this is, as we're getting to work on the electrical system, it opens up this area. It makes it easier for us to use that same space for solenoids, for other controls uh, that are gonna work with our electrical system. So it kind of isolates things. We'll have electrical system up here. We'll have our hydraulic system back here and just run lines in between. So let's measure, let's get the uh, tubing cut and uh, I'm gonna go uh, try welding for the first time using my new Lincoln Electric uh, um, MP210. So we're going to go take a look at that and see whether I can uh, do a tiny bit of MIG welding. Uh, this isn't something that everyone obviously has or everyone can do. It's something that we're just interested in getting involved in. So uh, I'm looking to experiment a little bit and um, doing a little quick weld of that uh, end onto that tube should be pretty easy. But I'll try it out and we'll see what we've got. All right, so this is my uh, new setup here that I have. It's a Power MIG 210 MP from Lincoln Electric, and uh, we got all the gear from them as as well, and uh, even the. Uh requisite social flight welding helmet uh, which has the auto darkening shade in it so it's very very cool and um, what's really amazing about this is for a beginner like myself uh, it's incredibly easy to use so um, when you power this up and I'm going to zoom in here so we can actually see that 
So when you power this up, it goes through a really simple setup. Uh, boom, ready, set, weld. It comes online and what you do is in pressing this home button, you start by saying, well, what kind of process is it? We're doing MIG steel with 25% uh, uh, CO2 gas uh, and uh, you just hit OK. It, it has you verify what your setup is, that's okay. We wired it correctly. The diameter of our welding wire. And then what the thickness is of the material. That's it, that's all there is involved. And then it automatically figures out all the settings. So um, I've done some practice with it. It seems to be working pretty well. And so now we're gonna go and uh, see what it's like to put this piece together. All right, let's take a look at our finished product now. It is by no means perfect. I am a beginner at this, uh, but uh, again, we're not working on something that's a critical structure of the aircraft, uh, and I'm certainly gonna have someone take a look at it for quality control, make sure it's okay. But if we look up close to that, you can see uh, all in all, not too bad. Um, there's the other side of that, came out pretty well. Um, so um, now let's go test fit it. Okay, so moment of truth. I have this bar now that's uh, got the different ends on it, and we'll see how it fits in place. Wow, perfect. All right, so now I can get back to the kind of uh, construction that I'm a little more comfortable with, which is the aluminum construction. So we can use hat sections to make this into a solid shelf and um, get, the, uh, get everything mounted on top of it. And then um, what will end up happening is this will go in. Just like that.
Okay, so the shelf for our hydraulic pump for our landing gear is now in place and it is rock solid. It's all glued and riveted, everything is all set. And I just have to say for anyone who is concerned about the quality of our welds, since we are beginners, we did redo that. Uh, we did make sure that we got those welds right. And so as you can tell, they, uh, they weren't perfect. We are learning uh, with our Lincoln Electric setup and um, we'll get better and better as time goes on. But this one is set, it's good to go. This is gonna be rock solid and move our center of gravity aft in our T51D Mustang. Until next time, be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile apps. We have tens of thousands of aviation events, online webinars, so many things going on. And if you fly with the mobile app and check in, you may be able to win a prize with our Fly to Win Challenge. So lots and lots of stuff going on there. Until next time, I'm Jeff Simon from Social Flight. Blue skies.